Hello, this is Bear from Bear Wave, and uh, today we're going to do the U.S. stock uh, report. So we're going to take a look at the Nasdaq, the S&P, perhaps Dow, and then uh, maybe some um, individual stocks. So today is Wednesday, the 12th of June. We just had uh, CPI data um, coming out at, um, it was, uh, core CPI was lower than expected as at 3.3% against a 3.4 consensus, I think it was. Um, so, and it was better than previous um, data point. So, uh, we have a Powell speech in a matter of uh, one hour and 10 minutes uh, where he's going to decide interest rates. So, that's when this video is going to is recorded. Um, so, we could expect, I mean, after it's posted, which is going to be in, as soon as I'm done filming it, uh, we could see uh, some major um discrepancies um, I mean not major but major for the short term so here it's not showing up nicely so let me delete a few things that's your overall count or uh, long term many of you asked me to also show the long term count in my videos uh, to get started I won't go over it uh, do I see alternates yes this is my preferred count uh, one two three four we've had a, a long case as as long as we were around here which I don't know if you can see on the screen around here that we could have fallen back down. We didn't, or at least we didn't yet. Um, so that's a preferred count. If we take a look at equality, so long-term target, equality stands at 35,000. So we could still move significantly higher, uh, if not even at 1.618, which is, uh, is at uh, 373,000. Is that possible? Well. In perspective, look at this, 85 to 88. That's how much you went. Now you may say, okay, but that's still a 200% move. So uh, it's possible uh, if we, I mean, from here to where, where was equality? Why, why do I keep deleting these? From here to equality, so that would be significant, 4,000 basically, but uh, I mean it, it would be a third a major uh, way three, which major is not the degree, uh, this is a super cycle, but uh, it's possible if we, yeah, no, taking previous history from here to here for instance, was 1.5, I mean, 1,500%. So it's, it's more than possible. Nevertheless, uh, let's focus on the, uh, let's go on the daily. So let's start to zoom in. Assuming we do have a, a bottom in place, which is what we've been assuming for several, uh, I mean, for over a, a year now, actually. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Nothing has changed on previous update. Uh, this shouldn't be showing on the daily. So it's a matter of when we are going to top and is this correct count. So did we already have three, four or is this a one, two? I mean, my best scenario is, I mean, the best count, best thing I can come up with is this one. Uh, and uh, if we zoom in, so if we do assume and I'm going to be assuming this is a bottom. If we go in the four hour, then all I can see is one, two, three, four. And now it's a matter of one, two, one, two, three, four, five. So what if we put this here, that you one, two, three, four, five, this, I guess it's possible. You could do that. Um, if we go back and take a look at equality of intermediate five against intermediate one, which is many times equality of five and one is a well respected target. We are at right here. 19,700. We also have, um, I need to go back. Sorry. We also have, um, uh, if we take a look at equality of, so 0.618 of five, cycle five against one, which is also very respected is at 19,800 basically. 
it's almost 20,000 plus 20,000 is not a psychological number, uh, number two is a fib number. So it's going to be where expected uh, large numbers will attract large orders. To think that nothing will happen at, at 20,000, uh, I think it's pretty stupid. So uh, call me arrogant, come whatever you want. I would expect something happening here. We may overshoot a bit, we may not, but then I would eventually look for something. And uh, ideally, we would pull back, honestly. Uh, if, if you're an investor, long term investor, which I would like to start also uh, focusing this channel, or else I will start a new one on my div uh, dividend growth portfolio. So let me know down in the comments if, if you made it this far, uh, if, if you're interested to, to know more about that, as well as you can always jo uh, join the Discord to find out. Uh, but uh, if you're a long-term investor, you want it to sell out. And I mean, this, I can easily see it being a one and two and then upside. Um, so that being said, uh, I'm a bit bearish. No, not really, but uh, it's also true then when, when you do it, look for a top and it's not coming, maybe it, it will just not come. But uh, yeah, that that's how the market squared. So a similar thing here on the uh, s p but different slightly different count whereas we have a one two one two three four five um so it would mean we would expect another three wave pullback and then upside which it would be uh different to the nasdaq which is possible but mm, should, it should ring a bell so i'm not sure and again fifty five thousand sorry, 5,500, 5, so 5,500 is where I would expect some uh, turbulence, that's why I like to call it. Mm, the short term, similar one, two, either one, two, one, two, or one, two, three, four, five. So it's, it looks like we could be uh, near some sort of a top there. And uh, for the Dow, um, okay, so this is playing out. I have honestly I haven't looked at the Dow in so long. So, yep, yeah, up in three, down in four, up in five, to then uh, potentially end uh, minor wave one, I guess. Right here and then upside. So let me get rid of this, rid of this, rid of this. One, two, three, four, five. That's what I would expect. And uh, also we could look at the DAX. Um, yeah. Looking a, a bit like uh, the S&P. One, two, three. I wonder if we are having this way four. But if we do, mm, so it could be, it could be this. One, two, three, four, five. That's that's what would be happening. So yeah, overall upside. Um, been very bullish on the DAX lately. I mean, not lately, but for several months. Upside target twenty thousand at least. That's where I would uh, like to see it before something major happens. At least twenty thousand, um, because we're finding support uh, off of eighteen. So yeah, 22,000 should be doable. So that was the indices. Uh, let's take a quick look at, so Apple been skyrocketed. And if you've been following, that's the count that I have for so long. Apple is part of my, it's the largest holding on my per long-term portfolio um, after an, an ETF on the, on the S&P. So, so far so good, just just looking for a one, two, really, into minor three. And long term, I think it's pretty interesting. So, what well, everyone was. So, this is mainly uh, news driven uh, because that's uh, they announced AI. You probably heard of it. Uh, but, uh, it I mean, it was easily for. I mean, expected uh, because. I mean, not looking the other way, but fundamentally wise. So all the focus was NVIDIA, um, Google, and uh, Meta with their AI. They were already more established than Apple. Apple was still 
you know, it, w it didn't announce anything official. So you could have expected that once they, I mean, they were obviously going to compete. And once they were into, you know, this race of AI, let's call it AI race, this would have happened. So modern magistrate prize. Th that's why I, I've been keeping this count. So this is a count. Now you could make some argument for this major one too. Uh, it's not a diagonal because th this, if, if you can answer one, two, three, four, five, then this one is longer than one. So it cannot be a contraction diagonal. So that's how I count it. And then again, one, two, so it looks like we're into this major bull market, uh, which I mean, every every major pullback, I would expect it to be a series of three and fours, as you can see here. So long term can be wrong. Oh, absolutely can easily be wrong. But I mean, it, it just looks solid uh, from both. I mean, from an L-Wave standpoint, which is what I'll limit myself on this video, I was saying it, it's just solid. Tesla could be this way for trading this down. You could, I mean, you could take a gamble there and buy it. Uh, short term, though, there should be an interesting pattern forming, if I'm not mistaken, and it would be this one. So I'm not sure if whenever it's here is completed this could still happen but I would expect one more uh, like higher at least uh, until $200 and uh, what else Nvidia with the stock split oh, wow, almost 200 oh okay so that's what happens with turning view if, if, if see that's what happens when they do the stock split and uh, Not comment. Not comment on that. Um, thank you, Trading View. And um, yeah, so overall, you can see how you. So with Google, Nvidia, uh, Facebook, Meta, call it whatever you want, I can see a top soon. Amazon as well, as well as Microsoft. The only one that I don't see a major top. A major. I mean, I'm I'm saying similar to the indices as I just showed is Apple. But Apple has been doing the opposite of what all these that I'm, companies I mentioned have been doing. While they were going higher, Apple was consolidating. So I wouldn't be surprised if now that Apple is moving higher, those companies slow down. Um, and uh, that being said, subscribe if you want to stay updated as well as feel free to join the Discord, it's completely free. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. Or any requests, just anything, let me know down in the comments or in the description. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.